Hey, what's up my optimal minds? Ready for another video? Thanks for coming back. And we're gonna be talking about ADHD and phosphatidylserine, what this whole nutrient is and how it can actually benefit people with ADHD. But before we get started, if you have not already downloaded my free guide on ADHD, it goes over all my nutrient supplements, labs that you can actually run if you have ADHD that can help you. I have a guide, free guide for both parents who have kids with ADHD as well as adults that have ADHD. It's in the description below. Go ahead and download that. All right, so today we're going to be talking about phosphatidylserine and this type of nutrient that you can actually use to help with ADHD. First, what is phosphatidylserine? It is a phospholipid that is important for cell membranes, but they have found found in research that it can be beneficial in ADHD. So if you're using it as a supplement, phosphatidylserine is an important supplement that you can help increase levels of dopamine. So by increasing levels of dopamine, this can help improve alertness, attention, and mood. Because as we all know, dopamine is very lacking in people with ADHD. And so it's very important to actually address this because all ADHD medications help to improve with dopamine and serotonin levels for all different types of mental illnesses. But for ADHD, it's helped to improve upon that. So let's dive a little deeper in the research. See if fossil sharing is something that you should be implementing if you have ADHD. So there was a study published in 2014 comparing phosphatidylserine, people who took phosphatidylserine, to a placebo in children who had been diagnosed with ADHD. After two months of implementing this, the treatment group showed significant improvements in auditory memory, as well as inattention and impulsivity. Now this was a small study involving only 36 children, so I would like to see bigger sized groups of this, but this does show promise that phosphatidylserine could be helpful and effective. But looking at a more promising study, there was a study back in 2012 that published in the European Psychiatry, and they took 200 children with ADHD, which were assigned for 15 weeks of treatment with either placebo or supplementation containing both phosphatidylserine and omega-3 fatty acids. Now the study results revealed that participants treated with a combination of phosphatidylserine and omega fatty three acids experienced a significant greater reduction in hyperactivity, impulsivity behavior, and a greater improvement in mood compared to those given just the placebo. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems to be something that could be really beneficial, especially if you combine it with omega-3 fatty acids. But a lot of these different studies, especially the first study that I talked about that I forgot to mention, is that it was people who weren't taking medications beforehand. So these were people who were diagnosed but hadn't started taking medications, and then they implemented these phosphatidylserine and omega-3 fatty acids, and they got a lot of these significant improvements. I would like to see further studies of people who actually do take medications and implement this. It's something that I use with my patients, even if they are on medications. And I do see benefits with my patients who are still taking medications and using phosphatidylserine and also implementing omega-3 fatty acids that can improve in inattention, impulsivity, hyperactivity, also memory retention. These are all great things that you can be implementing for your child. Or if you have ADHD, something you could also, as an adult, be implementing as well. Now, if you are wanting further guidance as far as what kind of supplements to be taking or what nutrients and foods or labs to be running for your ADHD, go ahead and download my free guide that I provide for you to go over all my protocols. You can download that in the description below for both for parents who have kids with ADHD as well as adults that have ADHD. I hope you found this beneficial and remember, you have an optimal mind. This is Dr. Grant signing out and I'll see you guys next time.